Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to teach you how to connect your VC dial to an AI platform. Here I'm using VAPI for today's video. So what we will achieve at the end of this video? You know that the VC box can be used to make outgoing calls in different forms. Preview dialing, predictive dialing, ratio dialing, etc. So VC box can generate a lot of calls, reach to the customers, and then when the customers answer the call, it will connect to your agents, right? It can be a human agent. But what we will learn today is how to replace these human agents with the AI agents so that actually the AI agents will talk to your customers. It can be for any purpose, for, for example, uh, generating a lead, for talking about uh, uh, support, or for example, for informing or asking them, for example, to pay for their overdue credit. So, all different scenarios can be implemented using this platform. Let's uh, explain the same thing using the, actually the graph that I have here. So I have VCBox 12 that I installed in the DigitalOcean. I have a video on how to install the VCBox in the DigitalOcean. Then uh, when I want to call a customer, of course, I need to connect to a SIP carrier or a provider. So the call will go to the SIP carrier. SIP carrier will send the calls, let's say to the customers. Customers will answer the call. Let's say we are using predictive dialing, so everything will be automated. You just upload the file into the VC box. VC box automatically calls the customers, and when they answer the call, it can connect to human agents, right? But what we will learn today is that how we send it to a VAPI, we integrate it with the VAPI platform. VAPI platform is a very easy platform that you can create AI agents and train them, and then the AI agents will actually talk to your customers. And uh, we will go through the, all the steps. So what I have right now is just uh, VCBox 12. I installed in the digital version, as I explained. I have video on how to do that. And uh, first, I thought that maybe I should just tell you how to connect VCBox to VAPI because I think most of you are familiar to how to set up uh, VCBox or connect it to a carrier or how to create a, a predictive dialing or press one type of campaigns. But anyway, I wanted to do the whole steps in my lab so I said okay why not let's explain all the steps and then you can skip whichever part that you don't need for example if you know how to connect your visa box to a sub carrier then skip it or if you don't if you know how to uh, connect how to configure your visa box to have a predictive dialing or pre press one campaign then okay just skip it and then go to the uh, part that we connect visa box to your VAPI platform uh, I put in the different chapter so you can skip easily from what, whichever video that you don't like or you already know how to do that. So let's get started. Let's go through the steps. I, what I have done right now, just installed the VCBox on Digital Ocean, and I have not even configured anything. So I will go a step by step. Let's start by the first step. By the way, I'm using Twilio SIP carrier here, but you can use any other carrier because that's not the main focus here but because uh, it's easy to connect your VCBox to a uh, Elio, so I use Elio for this part of the tutorial. Let's get started. The first step is to configure your VCBox. So let's connect. As I mentioned, I just set it up. I even didn't log in for the first time. So the first time that you log in, the username is 666 and the password is 1234. And we go through the continue on the initial setup. Let's set a password. I don't need to set a very secure password, but anyway, let's use this password to do not get hacked during actually the uh, mechanism, during the uh, training. Set your time zone to whichever time zone you are. I'm in plus one. And let's set it to European and submit. I just saved my password somewhere so that I know what to enter later. Okay, after I set the password, I again need to uh, log into the platform. So I log out from here, click admin 666, and then enter the password and let's save it. So after I uh, log into the VC box, what you are usually do, I just, what I need to do, I need to go to the user 666 and give it at least some access so that I can create campaigns. If you don't know which access you want or if you don't care for now, just set everyone to all the actual settings to one.
We don't need really all of them, so I can skip some of them, but let's give it all access so that we don't need to come back somewhere else. Um, we don't need really agent API access, so I don't give it, and don't forget, don't set this API list restrict or API user only to one, this should be zero, or you can't log in. I will submit, now I have access. What I usually do is that I'm creating another user, so I go to the copy user, I create another user, let's name it, for example, Omid. I set the same password, full name Omid. I copy from the user 666. Okay, now Omid has full access, so if I log in back and I use Omid with the same password, I can log in. And what I usually do, I will disable this 666 user. So I'm omit, and then if I go to 666, I will just set active to know why, because that's the default user, it's better to disable it, especially now that I have all the access. So I will use this user omit for all the configurations. Um, usually what I do for a production setup, I go and create a new user group right but we don't need for this purpose so i will use just the same admin user group um let's start by setting the trunk the first step i need to do in the, i need to go to the admin carriers i want to create a trunk to my uh, twilio so that i can make the call so what i will do first i will set up this part connection through my VC box to the SIP carrier that I'm using to you here. Uh, let's go to the Twilio, let's create a SIP trunk. Uh, you can go to Twilio, search for Elastic, create Elastic SIP trunk dashboard, create add a SIP trunk, give it a name, I give it a VC box or VB12 VAPI can be any name then what I need to do I need to go to the termination this is where I need to send my call to so let's name it the termination VB12 VAPI yeah that's cool and then save it we need to add a IP access list at least one IP so I just give it a SIP termination URI and then I need to allow my IP address. So I will create IP access list. I will create add, name it my VB or VB12DO because my VB is in digital ocean. And then what is the IP address of that one? Of course, I can get it from here or because it is my digital ocean, I will just use this one. You just need to give the IP address of your VC box and give it a friendly name. Okay, I will give the same name, create an ACL. That's it, and save. Okay, this termination is fine. Origination, we don't want origination for this mechanism. And then we go to the numbers. We create add a number. If you don't, if you didn't buy a number, just buy a new number. Or if you already have a number, just click add exciting, add existing number, then Click the number that you want to add and select, select add selected. Okay, now your trunk in the Twilio is ready. 